All right, we are officially live. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode three of season three of the Dead Realms. I am your DM, Tyler, and we're going to get in some combat. It's going to be rough. We got seven bandits and five dogs against the party. We'll see what happens. Joining us is everyone in the party except for Mr. Notable, who cannot make it for whatever reason tonight, but everyone else is here. If you guys like to introduce yourselves quickly. Hello. Oh, <laughs> <you go first. laughs> B5 Fofum. Uh Sam fight slash kill. <laughs> Hi, my name's Joseph. I'm going to be playing Tangy <laughs> the <laughs> summoner holy warrior. It's the only normal one so far, but it's all good. <laughs> I'm Ness. I'll be playing Lavina, our uh, elven witch doctor. Hi, I'm Sirius. I'll be playing Dalvin, our dwarven bar brute. There you go. Don't worry. We'll get used to the new jargon in due time. Um, but you guys are traveling. You discovered the world as you left it broken. Now it is. You don't know why. You hanged out with the dwarf. He told you what, told you everything up to date of what happened. You guys decided that you guys want to go to a dwarven city that is further on a distance that Dalvin knows, since that's the only civilization. You guys headed there, encountered some random stuff, found some cool stuff, and we last left off the session with uh, the bandit and Dalvin picking a fight with one another. It is at this point all, all I would like you all to roll group initiative. See if you roll higher than me. Oh god. Got I have a dice tower, sorry. It's all good. S I'll move it away. Scare me a bit. <laughs> four. four. Twenty. Sixteen. Ooh, Twenty. Damn. Eighteen. You said four twenty. <laughs> Alright, that twenty definitely beats my seventeen, so you guys get to act first. I think story wise it makes sense that Delvin would get the first move unless someone interjects. Could I, grow I want to give everyone a plus d6 to their d20 rolls. All right. Nice. Awesome. Could I grab this guy and throw him into this large group? Uh, sure. I just got to draw this real quick. Oh, no, that's a fog. I need a drawing. There we go. Here's a drawing of one, two, three, four. I think it's five spaces, right? Yep. Okay, boom. There we go. That's five spaces. All righty. So you want to try to chuck this dude? Mm hmm Yes. All right, so go ahead and make a power contest. And I could put a d6 to this roll, correct? Yes, you can. All right. You're going to need it. <laughs> You're going to need it, bro. Mm -hmm. 19 plus 4. Ooh. 23. Ooh. Yeah. This is 23? It's a good thing I only rolled a 17. You grab this dude and you chuck him into the group. And as yeah, you do six, you got me scared for a second. Like... All right, I have failed this check to avoid the dodge. So these guys, two guys, will take. Go. I'll say go ahead and roll a. Hmm. I'm gonna say go ahead and roll a d6 for damage. All right. And then this guy will fall prone. Hmm. Only two. Only two. Oof. Yeah. It's fine. Also, I'm muting my mic while it rolls. I don't want the dice tower to upset you guys all night. It's all good. Uh, where's the prone thing? It's somewhere. Here it is. Boom. He's prone. He's laid down on the ground, so now he has to waste his movement action getting up. Alrighty, who wants to go up next? I think Tanji had a held action, I believe. Unless I'm wrong. Yes, all right. but I have a question. How far can I summon my Eidolon? Does it say? <laughs> I never got specification, so... Ooh, hmm. Looks like I gotta make up a rule on the spot. Um, I say you could do it within... I say you could do it within five spaces. It would make sense. So you could get a, get them, like, right at the edge over here if you wanted to, or somewhere, like, around this vicinity. How about right here, if you can see my dot? Um, I will summon Luminous. All right. Yeah, let me just see if I can see your dot. Yep, I can see your dot. It just almost blends in. So, describe yeah. describe the summoning of Luminous to me. He claps his hands together and 
pushes them out and shoots a ball of light that grows and grows and grows until it becomes a large creature, a holy warrior with a sun for its head. As Boom! Summon. There's Luminous and all it's of his glory. Right now. There he goes. Yep, he's that big. <laughs> okay. And he's going to move up. Uh, let me grab him. Two spaces. Okay. One. Would be about. Like, would this be it? Because he's a large creature? He would be like about right here. All you right. can't see the grid lines because the circle's blocking out, but yeah. he is there. All right. Would He'll you go like. There and yep. Tanji will move up like, all right. about right here. All right. That's what... going to be my turn. Um. So that's just Luminous's move action, just to move there. Um, what's yeah. the range on Luminous's attack? It's three oh, spaces, yeah, right? I, I believe, he has, right? He has big range. Yeah, uh, because he's a big dude. And I would say with his range, you could probably get one of these two guys over here. Yeah, with his massive wave, he can hit up to three spaces away. Alrighty. So he's going to roll an attack against that guy. Make an attack roll for him. That's going to be a... 17, so 18 to hit. 18 does hit some roll gear damage. And that's going to be 10 damage. Alright. 10 damage to like... this guard. Guard. To yep. this bandit. Who would like to go up next at this point? I'm gonna go up next. Uh... Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'm gonna attack, uh this one right here all right the one that just got a hit go ahead and make your attack actually can i if i do my special attack uh will it reach anybody else no it will not it would just hit that one dude okay i'm gonna do a normal attack then all right make your no normal attack it's an attack nonetheless natural 20 hey that's pretty good go ahead and oh i don't think we even had a critical hit yet we have, yeah, but I don't forget. Don't it's all remember. good. So you're going to head and roll damage as normal, and after you roll it, everything, you're going to times that by two, dealing double damage on a critical yeah, hit. Yeah, it's ironic because I was the one who got the first crit. It's, well. it's all right. It's all good. Big crits, big win. Exactly. Okay, so that's uh, five plus two. That's seven. Uh, seven times two, 14. 14. All right. You, as... This guy who just got tossed by Dalvin hits the guy on the lower left. A giant ball of light appears as Luminous appears, walks over and slices him. He looks like he's on his last legs. And then you just show up, you bum rush him, and you just stab, slash him with your longsword, cutting, splitting him almost in half as blood spews out as this creature is dead. And I look at the others and say, I would suggest you would run. And do an intimidation check or something? Sure, go ahead and make a charisma check. And if you want, you can add your d6 to it as being a demon folk, if you wish. Is it a d6? Yep. So you can add a d6 to your check. Sure. Yep. So that's one of your traits as a demon folk with devilish tongue. You can add a d6 okay, to any uh, time you talk. That is going to be a 21. Oh, shit. No, wait. 20, 23. 23? All right. You say this to them, and, well, I guess we'll see what happens on their next turn. Um, I think the only ones that have a gun is Kingsley and Lavina. Which one of you two? Um, I'm, well, Lavina, you could go first, because Kingsley's yeah. not here. Lavina's going to just take her movement, and she's going to, like, Stand back here and hold. Um, she's gonna hold an elemental shot for when one of them step within ten paces. So if they get any closer, she's gonna let loose a spell. Cool. Kingsley will cower behind some rubble and some rock, and will complain that he doesn't want to get involved in this fight, as he is hit well hidden from them. Uh, the enemies will get to go now. Um, this dude will get it up for his roof in action, and he'll say. They're trying to take our shit! Men! Get them! No, we just want to get through, you idiots! <laughs> At this point in time, um, the others are like, like, 
dude, they, he just cut Jerry in half. I don't know if we can do it. And he goes, shut up. You can either run away or face it like men. And at this point, one, two, three, four, five, six. At this point, three of them says, fuck this. This ain't worth it. And these three will run away while the other three stick around and, and fight. And they'll spend their turn just moving there. Um, the leader will then do a whistle towards you, Dalvin. So these dogs are going to come at you now. This dog will have to spend its move turn getting to you. One, two, three. One, two, three. Is there spaces? Oh, there's spaces for my bad. Uh, so he can't. Yeah, so this goes here. Two, three, four. Yeah, so these two dogs are going to make it attacks against you. They're going to try to bite you. I rolled a 16 to hit. Against my evasion? Yep. Yeah, it hits. Alrighty, so I will do two bite attacks, which combined will deal eight piercing damage, and you're grappled by both of them. How do I use my armor to take off attacks? So, so you use your reaction to re to use your armor slot, and when it, for each one you use, will reduce the damage by your armor score. So if you have so right now you have eight, your armor score is what right now? Six. So you can reduce that damage by six and reduce the armor slot by one. Okay, perfect. All right. That makes sense. So. Or you can th reduce it by twelve. And just take no damage if you wish, but it takes another armor no. slot though. No, I'm just gonna use one armor slot. Just... Okay. Regardless, you. you're still grappled. Um, you these two dogs bite right into you, and as they bite right into you, they're not used to biting dwarven flesh, and even though they still got a grapple on you, the damage they expect is not as good. Um, uh, where the hell is the grapple? It's somewhere here. I'll find it. But in the meantime, uh, oh here it is. Boom, you're grappled. Um. At this point in time, the other two are going to say, You two, go take revenge on our friend. And then these two will go towards you, Sam, and will each make a short sword attack. Mm -hmm. I got it subtracted by 56. All right, I rolled too low. So because of uh, Fifi's uh, radius, it, uh, they are a little bit distracted as a as a giant um, doing a performance seems to distract them a bit from hitting you. Um, then the leader will pull out a hand crossbow and will shoot at. Let me see if I can. I'm in range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, I'm in range. So this leader is going to pull out a hand crossbow and shoot at you, Tanji. Okay. He's in the radius, so I'll subtract my roll by a d6. It's a good thing that's helping out, because I'm rolling like dog shit. I rolled a 2. Um, he, too, is also distracted at from the performance, and he causes his shot to miss. Um, and it's at this point the table is now turned towards you guys. What would you guys like to do? Uh, go on. Because these guys stepped into my range, can I use my held action to attack? Sure. We'll say you do this before the turn turns to you. Yep, go right ahead. Which one would you like um, to attack? Seeing as our little meat shield is grappled, Levine is going to shoot this one with um, an elemental shot. Okay. Go ahead and make an attack. Uh, Okay. Um. All right. Anything I gotta add to this? I don't think so. Your uh, intelligence mod, if oh. it's relevant. Intellect. Intellect. Yeah. Uh. I don't know or think so. What's your roll? Roll to thirteen. Thirteen hits. Oh fuck yeah. It just hits their do. armor class. Well, evasion, excuse me. I'm trying to get used to the jargon, too. <laughs> I got a... 
1d8 mm. of... I'm do acid. Acid? All right. Uh, all right. Mm-hmm. I'll just roll a d20 to see if I maintain my grapple. Three. Three. All right. Um, you shoot acid at this dog, and it squints and yearns in pain. However, it's still able to keep itself onto your dwarven ally. So, at this turn, the tables are now towards you guys, and at this point, you guys can make your turns. Uh, Luminous is going to take its glaive and stab directly down on this dog. <laughs> Alright, make an attack with Luminous. And I add a d6 to it? Yep. Well, Okay, oh. that's going to be a 7 plus a d6. Yep. 8, so 9 to hit. 9 to hit misses. Okay. Luminous now it's is be... slowly trying to cleave. However, this dog is just way too evasive for him. Okay, then Tanji is going to move up one, uh, two, about right there, and is going to make uh, a what is it? A wand attack with his staff. There's right. a banner. All right. I don't know if you moved your token or if my thing's just not updated. I don't know. Uh, my thing is slowing down too as well. Ah, okay. I'll just move but, like uh, like here. Uh, yeah. Alright, so make your right. one attack. Which one are you That's attacking? That's going to be a 13 to hit. For who? The who dog. Are you the same uh, one? With my, yeah, with my banner attack. The 13 does hit. Okay. Uh, that's going to be... 4. 7 damage. Radiant damage. Alright. You deal 7 radiant damage to this dog, and it's not looking too hot. Okay, that's my turn. Alright. Can I... Go on. Which one is the leader? Um, this one is... This one in the back, next to his dead friend, is the leader. Okay. Change my color. To be green. There green. we go. Anything you'd like to do, FIFA? Or do you need more time to think? I'm going to run forward and I'm going to pick up this dog that's almost dead. <laughs> and then I'm going to throw it at the leader. Alright, so let me just get rid of the circle temporarily for now. Alright. Alright, so go. I have to make an agility check against your power. So go ahead and make a power check for me. Fourteen. Unfortunately, I succeed with a nineteen. You try to pick up this dog, and as you do so, the dog is just once again more evasive. No. Oh, you're gonna fake die that? All right, cool. Keep in mind, you guys do have fake dies. So, see if you can beat a nineteen. 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 All right, meets it. Um. Did I do anything at times? I'm going to give you the win, because I think it would be a cool Thank moment. You. Um, you pick up this dog and go ahead and make an attack roll against the leader. Six. Object interaction, dog. You said six to hit? Yeah. Um, I got some good news and bad news. Good news, you toss this dog over, the leader ducks, and you hear... <laughs> Like, as bones crunch, the dog is dead. However, you do not hit the bandit leader. And then Damn. I shout, is this worth dying for? He go, he will say, you goddamn right, whatever stuff this corpse have, it's ours for the taking, and we're not letting you take it. Then you're as stupid as you are weak. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, who else would like to go up? Uh, I'm gonna move. Okay. Do I either get out of grapple or can I still attack the dogs while being grappled? So right now you being grappled basically means that you cannot move whatsoever and attacks that of the creature that grappled you have advantage. It's not preventing you from doing anything else currently. So attacks against the creature that's grappling me have advantage? Yeah, against you. And you uh, so not the other way around. Nope. Because you're grappled. Can so how do I get out of grapple then? Just power check? Make a power check against their power check. 
Can I just waste a turn? Oh, man. That's up to you. What do you want to do? Hmm. Yeah, let's get out the power check. Alright. I'm going to roll two power checks for these dogs. 15. 15? You, with your dwarven strength, are able to remove these dogs from you. Removing you from the grappled condition. Perfect. I'm going to try to back away. I don't know how... I don't know scale, but... There is to... there is no opportunity attacks. You're good. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm I mean, I have... A, what is my movement? Three spaces. I can't. Five feet. Yeah. Okay. For a, yeah, that's just because how Albert Rodeo's programmed. Five feet per movement. Cool. So I'm just going to back up this way. Alrighty. Nope. Sam, would you like to make a move? I'm going to stay here. I'm going to do a special attack. I'm going to swing all three of these. All right. Do your spiral slash. So go ahead and make an attack roll against them. Okay. Um, that is plus power. Uh, that is going to be a... What is it? 15. 15 just hits their evasion. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, that's 1d10 plus power. Yep. Oh, I should have done d 1d10 instead of 1d8 last time, but whatever. It's all good. Uh, 9 plus 2, 11 damage. Nice. You deal 11 damage to all of them. Your quick pace and your quick spiral. B just hits them and they all suffer a slash from each of their they each suffer a slash from your attack there we go and she realized which position she's in <laughs> oh crap alrighty um, Lavina would you like to do anything um, so far away I only have so much movement you could use your turn to get closer to double your movement yeah. speed for the turn. You could also teleport if you wish. I was thinking about that. Teleport only uses your movement action. Really? I thought it was just like a whole action. Yeah, well, I changed it. So oh. I meant it to. So that way you have alternative movement because it makes sense. So you could teleport anywhere within five squares of you. Okay. Um, so I'm going to move up here next to Tanji. Uh huh. Boys in the way. I'm gonna teleport up to here. Okay. Alrighty. Dope. Yep. Um. Uh, like <laughs> Kingsley will cower for his turn. Um. These three guys are just gonna leave. They don't see this fight as being winnable. They are wise. <laughs> these dogs will then whistle and let's see. There's one, two, three. Four, five targets it could possibly hit. I'm gonna roll publicly on Alvar Rodeo if it'll allow me. Uh, no, it will not allow me. So I guess I didn't install the dice roller. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna roll d6. So let's see here. Sam is one, Pufi is two, Dalvin's three, Lavina's four, and Luminous is five. Five. The leader will command the dogs to go after Luminous. Okay. Three. Four, one, two, three, four, one, wait, one, two, three, four, um, let's see, one, two, three, hmm, this dog's kind of in a rough, in a weird spot. Rough. <laughs> hmm. He'll just have to stay here. He can't, actually, no, he can use his action to move, so one, two, three, yeah, that'll make the most sense. Um, three dogs are going to attack Luminous. And I'll roll, okay. three to, I'll roll a single d20 here for mob tactics. Let's cock. A 15 to hit Luminous? Uh, 15 does hit. The Luminous shall take... I'm just doing math. 
Luminous will take 12 points of piercing damage, and normally he, he would be grappled, but because he's grappled by three or more enemies, he is restrained. Okay. Um, when he is restrained, he cannot move, and he can only use his action to escape. Oh, no. Okay. And all attacks against him have advantage, not just from the ones who are grappling him, but from everyone else. Um, meanwhile, the leader, along with the other two goons, are going to attack you, Sam. Using mob tactics. I roll a 14 to hit. Um, it, beats it. All right, so each of them will deal five piercing damage, totaling it up to fifteen. I'm gonna use my armor, all my armor points for that. <laughs> to just not take any damage. No, I only it will reduce nine from it, so I take six damage. All right, so you'll only take six damage from the attack. Um, what type of armor is Sam wearing? I'm at health. <laughs> Light armor. Light armor. Okay, so these uh bandits pull out their short swords and attack you. However, you use your battle tactics and use your light armor in order to for your armor to take most of the hits. Um, not damage you as much. Alright, table is now back to you. What would you guys like to do? Can I move here and do another special attack? Sure. Yay. We love endless resources that are very situational. <laughs> I'm guessing an 18 on the dice hits. Yeah, that hits all of them. So go ahead and roll your damage dice. And then 1d10, let me... 1d10 plus 2. 1d10 plus 2. 3. 1d10 plus 2. Okay, not bad. 8 damage. Alright, you deal 8 damage. You kill 2 dogs. No! <laughs> They're wild dogs, that's fine. Uh, okay. You killed the two that were grappling... Uh, well, restraining Luminous. Let me just make a d20 check. What'd you roll for damage again? Uh, eight. eight All right. Damage. Luminous is no longer grappled or restrained. Yay. Awesome. This dog is looking pretty hurt, and one of the bandits, um, uh, yeah, one of the bandits got hurt. I gotta figure out which one it is. It's not the leader. Uh, where's the... Uh, no, here. these two got hurt. Oh, yeah, these two got hurt. Yeah, so one of them dies. So. <laughs> Yay. All right. Spiral slash killing all, two majority of the targets. All right. Who else would like to go up next? I'm dying, Butch. <laughs> Lavina's going to quickly sidestep around Dalvin. I believe my ability reaches this far. I think we agreed on, what, like two to ten spaces or something? Yep, like you could definitely get Sam within range. Yeah, Lavina's gonna quickly sidestep and she's gonna cast Life Siphon on Sam and is gonna try and heal her. Yep, so it's a class ability. So, yeah. go ahead and do it. You roll one, you roll one and I fucking die. <laughs> Alright, you regain. What does your Life Siphon look like, by the way? Um. Y'all have seen Lavina do this once before. Um, you see her kind of, as the dogs are dying, she kind of takes what little essence of their life they have left, and she's gonna like ball it up and throw it out at Sam, and it kind of just splashes into her back. And you feel renewed, almost. Just a little bit. All right. <sighs> okay, I ain't done yet. All right. Who else Thanks, would like? Lavina. <laughs> <laughs> Who else would like to go up next? Uh, if you don't mind, Luminous will turn to this dog. Mm -hmm. And is going to swing straight down with his glaive. Alright, go ahead. Uh, that'd be a 17 to hit. 17 does hit the dog, roll damage. That's going to be 5 damage. 5 damage. Luminous cuts this dog in half. Awesome. It's going to be... oh wait. Tanji turn. Tanji is going to move up one, two, right here. Uh, and I guess we'll elemental shot the final dog. All right, make your attack. Uh, that's going to be in 19 for 23. 23 hits, damage. Uh, what type of damage is it? It's going to be fire. All right. That's going to be nine damage. All right. 
You blaze this dog on fire as it is dead. Awesome. That's yeah. gonna be my turn. Alright, who else would like to go up next? Uh, Doubt. <laughs> okay. Um, let me make it. Let me make a check here. Throw him back away from his buddies towards our guys. Alright, go ahead and make a power check. Give me some ability. Sixteen. I rolled a nine, so you successfully tossed him. Wait, Go wait, ahead. wait. I want to catch him and power bomb him down. <laughs> oh, hell yeah! Come on. Hell yeah! <laughs> All right, you. Go long, <laughs> All right. From downtown. Go ahead and make a power check. <laughs> Eighteen on the die. Oh yeah. I love the dice tower method. Both so of, both of you go ahead and roll it each a d10. <laughs> Five. Five. My throw attack is a d12. Sure. <laughs> Six. You pick him up, and as you say this. You toss him in the air, and Dom's like, yo, let me get at him. You yeet him towards the oven. The last few moments before he gets pal driven and breaks his neck, it's like, damn, I think he's probably right. And then he gets pal drive, <laughs> neck snap, and he just collapses on the ground, folded up like an accordion. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to look at the other dude, and I'm going to say, do you want that? <laughs> All right. Um, so that's his action, 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 action. Alright, everyone has gone. He says, he's like, you know what, man? Th this ain't worth it. This w ain't, ain't worth it. He drops his short sword and he runs away. Alright, and then he shall leave. Alright, and that ends combat. Sam collapses the ground. Uh. <laughs> Does anyone need I'm so pumped! Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was say, awesome. What'd you say, Lavina? Uh, as Tangi uh, like, wanders up asking if anybody's hurt, she's gonna look down. She goes, Sam took a little bit of a beating. I did what I could in the moment. Uh, you did good, though. That was fucking sick. Good job. Thumbs up. Meanwhile, fucking Fifi and Dalvin over here throw in and punch people <laughs> in the ground. Yeah. She goes, Dude, if this apocalypse ends, we should totally start a volleyball team. <laughs> What's volleyball? What is volleyball? I don't know, but we'll invent it. <laughs> she goes, oh, go ahead. Uh, she goes like, she gets up. Dust herself off and she goes, Alright. Can I get some of the healing, please? No, wait, we gotta share the spoils of battle. Now, oh see, we God. fought for this stuff, so we want it instead of stealing it. So, let's see if we have anything here. I'm gonna <laughs> sing the loot song of my people while we loot these corpses. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys find a combination of four gold amidst all of them. You, they each have a dagger, they each have a short sword, they each have hand crossbows. Um, I don't track ammo, so you don't have to worry about ammo, because I think tracking ammo is useless. Um, as you kind of look around and scavenge the area, oh, firstly, Luminous is still there, surprisingly. As he's just standing there waiting your command. Uh, yeah, that was going to be my question. How long does he last? So uh, he stays until you dismiss him, bro. But if you dismiss him, oh, you can't wow. summon another one. So, so yeah, he sticks around until you say otherwise, or he's dead. So. Okay, he's going to stick around. Yep. As you guys are looting the corpse to see what they have, you find the main corpse that all the bandits are gathering around. You're like. You know what, They some of them were willing to die to protect this corpse, like what could be there? As you guys get closer to the corpse here, don't know if you can see it or if the dog tokens are in the way, um, 
as you get close, you you have a fear and recognition of who this corpse is. You know this person. In fact, it's it's Ladle. What? Oh man. You see that she probably died just by looking at it. Uh, there is some stab wounds, but there's like a lot of bludgeoning on her, and you can see that her big backpack was completely looted. They were trying to clear looting whatever she had on her person. Uh, okay. By the way, fate was cool with me doing this, so just so I let you all know. So, so. <laughs> I'm I'm going to take a hand crossbow first and foremost. Let's get that out of the way. Okay. So oh, long. Long. <laughs> <laughs> gold to Dalvin, and I'm going to pocket two gold, but if someone wants to share, I'll have them to share. Um, and then, we need to bury Tangy. We need to take her survival goods, and we need to give, or not Tangy, Ladle. We need to give Ladle a proper burial. Yes, we I, should. I'll we help over some burial. Could I could burn her, her in the Holy Flame. Goods, but I think Ladle would want to be buried with her cookware that she wears as armor. Wait, 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 speaking of burning, burn the corpses now. Oh, what? yes. I'll burn the cor corpses immediately. <laughs> Remember, right. they turn to zombies at night, or at least undead? Yeah. yeah. Well, so we don't know if that's an infection that they have to kick while they're alive, or if every dead corpse turns while they're at night, but you're right, we should probably be safe. Yeah, we we don't want anything like that coming after us after we just battled our way through the uh, okay. world. Okay, so let's pile the corpses up. Hold on, I got um, it. Boom. Alright. We're doing a proper desert bonfire, but I'm gonna say a prayer for Ladle unless there's a holy person among us. I will. Okay, I think Ladle should get her own fire. <laughs> okay, <Yeah. laughs> I guess I can do that. Ladle deserves that. She doesn't deserve to be burned in a mass grave with a bunch of common criminals. Fair yeah, well. she, she was nice. Alright. Yeah. Uh, right. But we uh, are taking her survival goods. Alright, so from her survival goods, you find... Uh, digging through her things, you can tell that she well, would have practiced some form of magic that is like a mixture of herbal magic and like food magic, like food that would heal you. So you find like three treats that act as potions of healing, healing for 1d6 hit points. Um, and, so there's three of those. Um, let me just check Matt's other character sheet. Um, other than that... One for go to All right. Um, one basic supplies, which is like, you know, the basic supplies and stuff. Um, you find some cookware there, um, and on, t yeah, um, and other than that, do you don't really see anything else of value except for the five rations she has as well. I'm gonna I'll take, take uh, two rations. I'll take two Please. rations. Lena's gonna take the last ration. All right. And since I'm big and strong, I'll take the extra basic supplies. But if you need something out of it, just let me know. Fair enough. Very well. Alright. Oh, I will. Oh, the cookware, I can take that too if no one else can carry it. I will go over to the bodies and I will say a prayer and start burning them with holy flame. Alright. Luminous uh, stares in wonder. Luminous is not really the speaking summoner, he just communicates in hums and what have you. Yeah, he sounds like a raging sun. <laughs> Constantly coming out of his head. <laughs> As yeah. the bodies are kind of smoldering in the background, Lavina's gonna wander up to Sam and she's gonna cast. Um, oh my god, I just looked at it too. Healing touch on Sam, and as she's doing it, she kind of awkwardly reaches for it and is like dusting some of the, the cracked dirt off of her and going, You fought well. Alright. Angie is also going to cast that on uh, Luminous. Alright. Luminous is healed and he hums loudly. Mm. Okay. <laughs> anyway. 
Uh, she looks at uh, Lupita and five. just five health. I'm at max. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> she she goes. Okay. She goes basically like. Thank you, Lavina. It's really nice of you. As she pets your head a little bit, just pet us. We have to look after. We have to look after each other, right? She's gonna like nudge you. Yeah, right. And she looks back at like Ladle and just goes. It sucks that she died, though. I mean, yeah, I like Ladle. She was nice. Wonder how. Lavina's gonna. Oops, sorry. Wonder how. What a guy would take it when she points at. She points at. Uh, Kingsley, Kingsley is very saddened by this and is basically consulting his book as a way of coping. Yeah, that sounds about Kingsley. <laughs> Davina just kind of crouches down and brushes some of Ladle's hair out of her face and is going to mutter a, a quiet prayer. Alright. I will as well. Okay. I don't know who I'm praying to, but I guess I'll join in. Alright, you join in on the prayer to hopefully give Ladle a meaning as you guys... Uh, I, I'm very bad at describing at this point in time. Um, my brain's ceased to function right now. Um, but you say your prayers, and you begin to give Ladle a proper burial. We'll leave it at are that. Are we burying her, or are we burning her? Haka. Say again. What was that? Dalvin starts to do a haka. It's one of those Polynesian. Um... <laughs> Every time those videos come on, I get so oh. sad. So <laughs> real cool dances. Yeah, you there it is. The giant culture as well. And enjoy <laughs> All right, it's canon now. <laughs> I thought you were gonna dig. I thought you were gonna dig the hole because you're a dwarf. N what? what? Oh, uh, this is out of what character. This is out of character. It was a joke. <laughs> it, was a, it was a joke of the, of the song oh, that I am. Hole, the whole fan. I'm digging a hole. Yeah, I'll happily dig a hole, dude. Not because you asked, but because I recognize it's easier for me than it is for the rest of you. Although, uh, might I mention the dude with the giant fucking spirit monster? Might as well the goddamn spirit monster to dig a fucking hole. He's not a yeah, spirit right. monster, he's a holy warrior and technically an angel. A lot of people don't know this, but actually giants and dwarves are descended from the same ancestral race, and that's why we have the same cultural dance. It's canon now. Yep, I'm, I'm right taking notes. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, Luminous will help dig the hole. Alright. Luminous easily digs a halfling size grave for Ladle and carefully places Ladle laying her down beneath the earth and you can tell Luminous is actually caring about this entire scenario and treating it with respect as he is trained to do uh, as this is going on Lumina's going to try and gather some stones to make a makeshift headstone for Ladle. you do so to mark her grave mm -hmm. you, do. you do so I go over to Luminous and I say uppies, and I start climbing his cape All right. to get on top of his shoulder. Alright, <laughs> you get on top of him. I'm going to attach you to him now. Okay. Excuse me, the, the sacred spirit warrior you were just referring to, when you speak to him, you say uppies? <laughs> it's a half loot. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> My man is half <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm so short. You're short? For my people. Okay. Really? <sighs> I've never met giants before. Oh. Wow. In any, in any event, we probably should keep going soon. Yeah. I hope that would be best. We don't want to go. Melvin, you lead the way? Yeah, let's go. All right. As you guys lead the way, I'm going to transition the screens over here. Oh, let me just make that visible. All right. Um, so as you guys are traveling along the way, 
you guys decide to rest up for that, as this was just part of a random encounter for the day. <laughs> um, at this point, we don't no longer need out bear radio. Um, at this point, you guys can roleplay if you wish. Otherwise, we shall move on. Yeah, see? We could do anything that we want. Oh, I'm still flexing. So pumped. Let's go find some more weak-ass bitches. <laughs> we should only kill if we need to. They broke yeah. it by their mind you. We were just asking what they were doing, and they got aggressive. Wasn't Delvin yelling at them before they even said anything to us? No, I wasn't I yelling. <laughs> Very well. I said we wanted to pass through. They wanted to check us to see what we had, and I wasn't about that. Yeah. Or excuse me for not wanting to be mugged. It's okay. I'm just saying. Never mind. As much as it's in a fight, we didn't need. I'm almost glad that we had it. We know what happened to Lady Alice. At least, sir. Uh... Yeah. I wonder why she ever exited the camp in the first place. Yeah, could you imagine if we just let them live after what they did? Yeah, that is true. That is true. Alright. <sighs> Alright. Yeah. You guys continue the journey, and then, well, there's plenty of space for our campfire tonight. And as there is a campfire, um, you guys could expend each ration and you guys can continue to roll one from Kingsley. Okay. Luminous does not require food or sustenance as he is an angel. Yep. Amen. Also, how many how many days will the rainwater last us? Um we'll say it'll last you for this time going around. It is rainwater in fact. So Okay. She's gonna do another quiet. She's gonna do a quiet thanks to Ladle and eat her food with a little tear in her eye. Oh. All right. Uh, did Ladle leave any cooking oil amongst her possessions? Sure. That we'll say that's part of that cooking kit. We'll say. with oil and crush it in such a way that it holds all the oil and I'm going to take a little strip of fabric and leave oh, it sticking no. out as a fuse <laughs> and start poking dimples in it as I can and try to weaken the metal a bit so it'll shatter if the oil so happens to explode for any reason. Alright, so since this requires finesse of the hands, go ahead and make an agility check for me. I will happily make us giants are known for our nimble fingers. That's why I play the lute when I sing my lute song. So real. Six. How many fingers? <laughs> Oh, 
All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right, I, I think I'm good now. Um, you carefully, with the best of your giant ability, try to clasp the metal with the oil. However, <laughs> as you are talking with this, you lose constant... <laughs> you know what? Go ahead, re-roll it. I'll allow it. Sure. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> but <he'll>... seven. <laughs> awesome. yeah, that right. I, I hope someone clips that. That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So here's what happens. You and Sam are trying to carefully like wrap around, trying to like assist with trying to make this Molotov cocktail. However, your drying strength is a bit too strong, and you crush it to the point where the bottom of this can or whatever it is implodes and the oil spreads and as you are doing this um it starts to touch the fire i'm gonna need an agility check from both sam and fifi at this point to avoid getting lit ablaze uh natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and get a yeah. jelly check, bro. Well, natural twenty. Twelve. All right. FIFA, you shall take six fire damage. Um, as this bottom of the can. Is an armor point on that? You cannot, unfortunately. I'm not. I will not allow it in this case. Um, you, as the canister implodes, um, the oil spreads quickly to the fire. Sam, you are just quick enough. To jump out of the way as you know oil and fire you know it's quite flammable and you dodge out of the way and as you recover you see fifi on flames um taking six fire damage and fifi you quickly stop drop roll pat down and all that just to get rid of the flames on you and you all see this <laughs> ouch yeah that um uh... are you okay oh I Uh, let me check my inventory. Uh, let's see if I have something that can help you. Oh no! I have the health potion. <laughs> oh. I'm about to take a nap, I think. So I'm just gonna wake up in the morning before I do anything as costly as drinking a health potion. Very well. Yeah. Angie, yeah, okay. if you don't, if you don't have anything, um, I can always, I can always help out, especially if we're gonna be laying down for soon. Then definitely. Yeah, and it he... does like a tut 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 sound, like... <laughs> be fine. Please be careful around fire next time, and she's gonna cast, um... Her... Her siphon of... Life thing, and she's gonna try and heal up a little bit. How much do you heal? Two healings. Two hit points you regain from Siphon Light. Thank you very much. Back up to half health. <laughs> yep. Not much, but it'll it'll tide you over for tonight. I'll check on that you again in the morning. Yeah. Alright. Alright. No bed. Alright. I would like it. I would like everyone to roll a d20 for me to see if a random encounter happens tonight. Do we get advantage because we have luminous lighting the day, uh, the night? No, you do not. Okay. <laughs> 15. Nat 20! Nat 20! Right. Right. 3. 20, 20, 15, 3. I got it. 20, 15, 3. Okay. Uh, I think Ness is the only one that hasn't rolled. I believe. I got a, yeah. um, I got a 16. 16. All right. So 20, 15, 3, or 16. Um, I rolled a 14. Nothing happens tonight. Yes. At this point, now you can use a hit dice. Yes. Are we getting and a long short rest? You're getting, there's only one type of rest, which is full oh, rest, yeah. which is what this is. So. And I, do I get my, I don't remember. 
So, right. so that's all good. We're all learning. Um, you get all your abilities back, and if you're a spellcaster, you roll a d4 to regain that much spell points, and you could also roll hit dice, and whatever you're rolling a hit dice, you regain that much hit points. For your spell points, and then roll your hit die for your hit points. I only use one in spell slot. Fuck yeah, I got four. <laughs> All right. Awesome. I don't have to roll four spell points because I only used one, so minimum would max me out. Yep. And I didn't take any damage. Nice, really nice. As you guys begin. Well, fortunately, the dogs have been burnt to a crisp as part of that mass grave, oh. unfortunately. But Shit. before you guys even awake, you guys are getting used to these new lands. And at this point, you all level up to level two. Yeah! Yes! So, level two. so, this is where Fuck. the game really shines, in my opinion. So. As you guys level up, a couple things happen. First off, you all regain one additional hit die. So now you should have two of your hit die. Oh my god, the music fits this. Uh, so everyone should have two hit die. And let's talk about the class tree now. So you see at the halfway point of your character sheet, there's a tree. And you see that there's multiple branches you could go into. So every time you level up, you get to decide in which way you level up. You'll, you can either take a level up in your race feats, your class feats, your background feats, or you can alternatively go for an in-game feat. So the level 2 in-game feat is that you gain 10 hit points and you gain one item slot, armor slot, excuse me. And the fifth tree, if you decide to, is that you get three ability points. Now in comparison to the other trees, that tree should be completely empty. So you could use go up to that tree three more times to get three ability points. You could either do a plus three into one stat, a plus two into one, and a plus one in another, or give three stats a plus one boost. And what we are going to do is we're actually going to take a break to quickly level up to discuss your options. So, oh, yeah. so, so we'll, we will be right back. We're just going to do a quick level up, and we shall return soon. Yay! Yippee!
There, I unmuted us now. <laughs> it's alright. Alright, we're live again. Alrighty, so let's continue where we left off, shall we? Um, for the viewers, um, everyone but Joseph leveled up into their class abilities and we'll reveal that as we go. Joseph decided to take an ability score improvement because his summons get better as he increases his stat on stats. So, so with that being said, this could you already left off. It's a new day. You guys are gearing up, packing your things, and continue the track, acquiring new items for your journey, healing up a bit from the day before as you guys are continuing onward to... <clears throat> excuse me. As you guys are continuing onward to the Dwarven City. You guys can roleplay if you wish. Otherwise, we could proceed. Well, I can sing you guys some good old fashioned giant trail songs if you like. Go for it. We shouldn't try to attract whatever. Are you saying you no. don't want to fight? I want to fight. That's what I'm feeling. I'm high off of last night's victory. I do want to fight. Yeah, uh, because you were the, the one who didn't get. Our songs. You... The reason you, you're so ready to fight is because you didn't get hit. I don't necessarily want to fight. I'm just saying, I think that Dwellnir... Wait, is that... No. What's your name? <laughs> A barbarian. <laughs> Brute, I mean. Dolvin? Do Dolvin, yeah. Sorry about that. I thought that Delvin would want to fight instead of not. Like where I'm from, we sing trail songs to just warn other people, like, hey, get out of my way. You can hear me from a mile away, and that way you know not to fuck with me, and if I see you, then I know you want to fuck with me. But maybe that's not how you guys do it. Well, we do have a living beacon that will sort of show everybody where we are. All right, so we've already given up our location. I'm singing my old trail songs. Very well. Ho, ho, the road is long. <laughs> I am strong and we're gonna get there. Ho, ho, the road takes is up the road. long. <laughs> I am strong and we're gonna get there. How far is it? I don't know. I don't know, but we're gonna <laughs> go there. How far is it? I don't know. I don't know, but we're gonna go there. <laughs> nice. Amazing. Wow. Alrighty. I would like all of you at this point uh, to roll me a check to see if there's any random cameras. By the way, I messed up last time. It was supposed to be a D8, not a D6. So go ahead and roll a D8 to see if there's a random camera. Seven. Seven. Okay. One. One. Two. Two. Hold on. I'll roll these white dice instead. I've been rolling uh, green dice. Five. Five. So one, seven, one, two, five. See if there's a random encounter. So 50 50. All right. I rolled a one. It's a random encounter happening. Uh oh. oh see, yeah. see how bad it is. We're good. Who knows? Okay. Uh, uh, let me think of an encounter real quick off the top of my head. I believe in you. Old lady comes with a bag full of wolves. <laughs> you guys... You guys are walking towards the city. And um, the ground is still pretty dry. And as it's dry, you guys are looking around your surroundings, and at this point, I need everyone to make a perception check for me. Twelve. Nineteen. And I would say because of that performance, everyone can roll a d6 on top of that, because it's technically a performance. So go ahead and roll, add a d6 oh. to the roll. Uh, Twenty-two. I'm worried you That's guys total... great role play, so. Fourteen. That's in total eighteen. So 18 from Sam. 14. 14 from Tanji. 3. 3 from uh, B5. 23. 
22. 22 from uh, Lavina. What's your roll for perception, Calvin? 22 as well. 22. All right. Um, FIFA, you are too busy singing out your chants in order to pay much attention. Um, yep. Everyone else can see in the distance that there's like a group of individuals further ahead. And as you do so, um, who here has above an 18? Me. Well, 18 or above or above an 18? 18 or above. Uh, I do. I do. Okay, so Dalvin, uh, Lavina, and Sam, the three of you spot in a distance three travelers along the road, and they seem to have a conversation. And hey, a closer look. These are the same three dudes that ran away yesterday. Would you look at that? <laughs> starts running. <laughs> I'm going to run behind him. All right. Wait, what's your movement speed? <laughs> All right. You uh, two. Three spaces. All right, you two run. I have four spaces. Yeah, so you can keep up with Dalvin. Um, yeah, what is everyone else doing? Dalvin and Sam are running towards these three guys. Bro, no, I'm running towards Dalvin. Out. I'm not running towards oh, the three guys. Gotcha. <laughs> what's everyone else doing? I'm out my bow, but I'm not as fast as them, so... Okay. Kingsley will hide behind you. What, wait, has what's a new... going on? Uh, I'm not sure. You don't, need, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't need to fight them. We're just walking. <laughs> well, as, as you are approaching them, Dalvin, um, those three... <laughs> the three men, it's like, they're like... Oh fuck! It's them again, and they seem to run away. Do you still continue your pursuit? Pull out my hand, crossbow, shoot one at. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Ever. All right. You two go ahead and make attack rolls. Sam, what are you doing during all this? I'm gonna try and catch him. Okay. Go ahead and make an agility check for me. Uh, I I am really good at agility. Uh, that's, uh, that's a, uh, 13. 13? Okay. Dalvin, go ahead and re-roll and take the height lowest of the two. Lowest what? Go ahead and roll another d20 and take the lowest result after your attack. No, 15 and 18 plus 2, that'd be 17. Okay. So you still hit. And then what you roll, uh, um, FIFA? 8. Eight. All right. Um, you shoot FIFA, and they're like at the edge of your range. So as you shoot, uh, fortunately, the distance uh, isn't enough to where it can get one of them. However, Dalvin, despite Sam like tackling you down, you just had enough time to carefully aim, and shoot, and kill one of these bandits, as the other two are just running away for their lives. But you are tackled by Sam, um, impeding your advancement. They killed our comrade and you would let them run! Oh, punch. <laughs> okay, they get attack roll. Oh, no, no, I wasn't 19. trying to tackle. Wait, 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 wait. I wasn't <laughs> trying to tackle him. I was trying to tackle the bandits. Ah. <laughs> so confused. Well, I'll say this. Um, let me just make it a little check for the bandit. Because you need to be more specific. I thought you were. Going I'm sorry. Out I I I didn't want to take that. No, fuck that. I, they killed our comrade. All right. Um. So I rolled a twenty for the bandits. Um. So one of the bandits gets plucked by the arrow still, and the other two just manage to get away from you as you're trying to chase them down. Do you still continue? Am I okay. still tackled? Or, or no, you're not tackled. Running? You're not tackled. Oh, I'm still chasing. So, yeah, no. You're still chasing? Okay. Reload. Try to... <laughs> Alright. They're going to try to shoot back since you guys are not uh, stopping the pursuit. Yeah. Wow. Uh, okay. how, how fast are these bandits? <laughs> they are quite fast. Just as fast as you. Well, shit. Um, so... I rolled a crossbow bolt for both the bandits. Um, oh, cool. They both have the exact same result of a 19, which I'm assuming hits both of you. Yeah. yeah. You both take five piercing damage. Uh, two actually. For, okay, you reduce an armor slot. 
I yeah, will do but, some restart uh, to take no damage. If you want, uh, I'm gonna so use. Wait, what? Sorry. No, I was up. Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna use my life crossbow as well. All right, go ahead and make a crossbow attack. So with range attacks, it's gonna utilize your death. Next. It's going to utilize your agility instead of your power. So go ahead and make, roll a d20 and add your agility modifier. 16. Is, what you said? 16? 16, yeah. Okay. 14. Alright, so the 14 does not hit. Oh, let me see. Just real quick. Yeah, the 14 does not hit. The 16 does hit. Uh, don't roll damage. You plug the other one. Um, the one that you shot at Dalvin. Uh, your shot goes wide. He goes, look, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, 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 listen. Our leader, our leader, he was a dick. He was an idiot, all right? We, we know we couldn't handle you guys, so we tried to run away. And now you're just, you're just chasing us, man. I just want to live. Turn out your pockets. <laughs> no, I'm sure our comrade also wanted to live. Your, your but you didn't give what, him that, that choice. That, that half-way girl was your comrade? Shot. And then shot. <laughs> all right. As soon as you shoot the shot, I'm not gonna make a roll for attack. Um, as soon as you shoot your shot, he goes, he goes, wait, we didn't, we didn't kill her, ah! And then he just gets plugged and then just collapses and dies. She stops, pauses. We did right, didn't we? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, to be fair... We have to burn this, but we can think about it while burning. <laughs> Alright. To be fair, I was really pissed off. I, they killed... They they were looting her body, to be fair. That's fucked up. Yes, in my culture, you only loot the bodies that you yourself kill. So it makes it even worse. <laughs> so we're in the right. Alright. I hope so. So you bring the corpse back to your friends? No, we start yeah. burning them. We collect them and burn them. All right. You guys eventually catch up. Is anybody hurt? Are you two okay? Yeah, what happened? Fine. I'm fine. I just, uh, they didn't they kill say, Ladle. Did they say why they attacked us? They didn't kill Ladle? Yeah, they didn't kill Ladle. Something else did. It was a cultural misunderstanding. Oh, look, desecrating a corpse is a thing where I'm from too, buddy. You don't gotta explain shit to me. No, what? <laughs> no, where I'm from, you only loot the bodies that you yourselves kill. So of course, I would assume that they were the ones to kill Ladle. Because I see no other reason to loot the body. But they say they didn't. That never dawned on me. Yeah. That and he shrugs. Yeah. I would have kept one alive, but uh, I don't think that was an option here. Well, well, I didn't see it, so I'll take your word for it. Alright, well. Sorry I bumped into you, man. Uh. Next time, we keep one alive for questioning, alright? Okay. Fine. Thank you. Alright, uh, is everyone alright? No traps, no, no nothing? I don't believe yep. so. Okay. Okay. Ouch, that, that arrow grazed me, that shit hurt. Anyway. I think we should get going. Wait, let's see their camp. Maybe there's something useful there. I thought they were been running. Did they run all night or did they camp? That's the question. Yeah. You look around, you guys do not see any camp near set up nearby. Hmm. They must have. They must have hidden it over either. Doesn't matter now. Let's just keep going. Let's yeah, just leave yeah. a bad taste in my mouth. That's probably food the, or no? or the best. That's clean. Well, now the food is burning, I assume. Yeah. Yes. Let's burn them. Well, yeah, I we guess you guys already burned them. Hopefully. Alright, let's go. 
And she gets, she gets nearby. Uh, I keep forgetting her name. Your name, Ness. Lavina. She ge she gets beside Lavina and like kind of. You know the thing that people do when they like kind of lean onto you, but not really. I don't know how to explain it. It's like. Fucking. No, I get it. Lavina's just gonna shift her walking stick to her other hand to help support the weight. And it's just gonna walk with you. Oh. Okay. Alright. You guys continue the track of your journey. Nothing else seems to happen throughout the remainder of the day. You guys sit down after towards the end of the day, um, preparing to rest. You're sitting by the campfire eating your rations. I will take one from Kingsley. Okay. I don't know how many he still has, but well, well, I don't have any. He he took a lot. That's all I know. So. Okay. Yeah. He took a lot. Kind of sitting and eating. Lavina's gonna look across their campfire to Dalvin. Do you know how far we are from the city? Mm, with all the running we did, I'd say about another day. Okay. So we'll be there by night. Likely, yeah. Very well. I just hope we don't get detoured by anything. Let's hope. Well, for our luck, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say it's out of probability. All right, everyone, go ahead and roll d twenty for me. Okay. Sure. That's Eight. a four. Eight. Four. Eighteen. Eleven. 18. Okay. 11. Okay. I just need a roll One. from Ethan. 1, you said? Yep. Alright, so 8, 4, 18, 11, 1. D20 roll. Here we go. See what happens. Roll the 15. Nothing happens. Yeah, it's benefit from a full awesome. rest. You can use up to 2 God hit bless. dice to heal you all, yourselves. And for spellcasters, go ahead and roll 1d4 to regain that much spell points back. Got it. goes to bed she's gonna go outside and do like a like a quiet sit underneath the stars for a while not so much communing with her gods but you know trying to get back to her roots all right you sit down on a nearby small cliffside near the camp and sit down and gaze upon well what you see of the stars little glimmers here and there um and as you sit on top you see further in the distance about one day's travel away is the dwarven city that Dalvin was talking about in view and you see that there's still like some watchtowers being lit um, indicating that there is indeed civilization um, you can't really see that far into the dark but you know lights at a city is usually a pretty good sign of things as Lavina she kind of like takes her gaze from the city and looks up and through the break in the cloud she sees one star that's a little bit brighter than the others and she just kind of smiles faintly and goes, Ladle, I hope that's you. We won't forget you, I promise. We'll find out what happened. All right. You guys complete your full rest. You pack up your things, continue to journey. I would like everyone to roll a D8. Mm -hmm. Five. Five. Three. Three. Six. six, four, six. six. Alright, so three, four, five, six. So I need a one or Three, four, five, six. Yeet. I rolled a four. That'll be a random encounter. Oh boy. D20, see, how bad is it? Okay. I don't like that okay. I gotta <laughs> think of one now off the top of my head. Um... trying to think. Bear with me here. You're good. You guys are continuing your journey. You guys could roleplay in the meantime. Yeah. 
So like, do y'all remember where you're from? Uh, yes, I'm from Elder Howl, in between the Dwarven lands and the Half. Mm. I grew up as a farmer. Ooh. Farm hand, more specifically. I see. What about you guys? I... <laughs> I was a spoiled brat. Really? Yeah. Not surprising. Hey, what's that mean? I you like look you. like you have calloused hands. I've been a mason my entire life. That's eh. true. There are certain hands, hands are... that you can just tell. Alright. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, what about you? Oh, I'm from... And she kind of like shifts her feet a little bit as she walks. We're not really supposed to talk about it, but I guess it doesn't matter anymore. Uh, I'm from one of the woodland elf communities out on the islands called Ron. I was trained for many, many decades in the art of healing. And then I eventually left, and now I'm learning different kinds of magic. And she kind of like, her, like, kind of holds up her hands. They're like stained green brown from all the fucking like herbs and dirt that she touches constantly and you kind of see that necrotic and healing energy bounce around in her hands a little bit yeah that's cool and you Fifi what's up oh I just came from a normal town you know not too much different from most other towns I suppose that's fair. Yeah, it's not really worth talking about. Alright. Very well, if you want to stay quiet, it's up to you. We don't mind. Yeah, it's fine. But. Uh, oh, go on. As you guys are continuing to speak out, you hear um, a commotion going out further in the distance. Seems like someone is struggling. Let's head over. Seems like someone's struggling. Mm. Yeah. Alright. As you continue forward, you see about... Okay. I'm writing stuff down. One second. You see what seems like to be about... Ten of those undead things that you saw back in the cave. It seems like th they're all grouped up into one big group, and it seems like they're um, not running, but like moving aggressively towards what seems like to be a group of four dwarven guards, and they are trying their best, but they s are slowly closing in on the guards. What do you guys do? Ah, oh, hell no! Start shooting. All right. Me and Lumnus are going to start sprinting forward. Alright, cool. Alright, so I guess this is a moment to put back up Albert. I'll just put down a Close. default map. <laughs> um, like them, yeah. The dice dictate an encounter, so an encounter shall occur. Alright, so let me just switch. You want to tell a story, man? What can we say? Hey, okay. yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm down for it. Um, I should have... Maybe it's the creative scene. Um, that's why I'm not switching over yet. I'm trying to figure... I'm trying to relearn this stuff. Uh, default... Ah, here it is. There we go. Scenes, add a new scene. Starter set. Um... Uh, we shall... Ooh, wait, they have a wasteland thing. There we go. So, add selected. Bada boom. We're going to transport you guys over soon. And it's just an empty field, just like this. So it's not, I'm not making too much combat stuff. Uh, we're going to put Oli here. Adjust the size of the big boy. 
just the size of Fi Fi, just the size of Tangi, just the size of Dalvin. And I don't have guard tokens at the ready, but I do have zombie tokens at the ready. One, I got you on guard tokens. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Alright. Then I'll just do a bunch of shifting here. And then I'll do do this. Ah, I messed up. I moved the map, not the tokens. All right, uh, that worked. All right, moving screens. What bam? Okay, it did show up on stream. Um, all use roll initiative, and then the NPCs will act in their own initiatives here. Nine. Death. Five. Eleven. Twelve. Eleven's the highest you guys roll. It might be. We're we rolling initiative. Initiative, yeah. No, seven. Yep. Seven. P five. Working on it. Ten. Ten. So the eleven is the highest. All right. That's fine. I rolled for the NPCs and the zombies. I just gotta group these zombies a bit more better. Um, yeah, well, they're basically like this. All right, so, and these guys would be situated here. Um, try to utilize their sphere. So the NPCs get to go. They're try. He says the NPCs. They say, "If you're gonna help us, help us quick. These things are trying to get closer and closer to us." And they'll try to step back as best they can. And will hold their actions to use their spears. And at this point, you guys can act now. What would you guys like to do? Uh, Angie is on Luminous, and Luminous is going to move forward. Okay. If that's okay. Yep. Or can you attach them? Oh, they're not attached? Hold on. Yeah. Boom. Bang. Pow. Kazam. There you go. You're attached. Okay. So, he was here, so... One... Two, three. Does that seem about right? Yep. Okay. Then Tan Tanji's gonna hop down. Oh, okay. You're gonna hop down. Okay. <laughs> you do so. Yeah. Just optimizing my movement. It's all good. Okay. Uh, now, Luminous is going to strike. All right. That's going to be a sixteen to hit. Hits damage. Uh, he's going to go after the middle one, actually, sure. the one in the center of the people. Yep. Okay. And he's going to deal five damage. All right, you deal five then, points of damage to this zombie. Then Tanji is going to attack the zombie right in front of him with his short sword. New All one. right, make an attack. That's going to be uh, fourteen. Fourteen hits. Roll your damage. His zombies seem to be pretty slow. That's going to be eight damage. All right. Okay. Yeah. The zombie that Luminous is hitting slice, gets sliced, and you, the one that is in front of you, also gets sliced a bit. Uh, the other zombies, most of them, half of them are kind of looking at you guys, half of them are looking at the guards. Um, anyone could go next at this point. Do I like to move up 15 feet, or I mean three, three spaces? spaces? Yep which would put me here, and then I'm going to shoot at the closest one with my crossbow. Okay. That would be three. I'm going to number them just for my sanity's sake. So. Gotcha. I was highlighting them. Okay. Hmm. 16? 16 hits damage. Is a hand crossbow d6 or a d8? Uh, uh, I can check real quick. It's a d6. Uh, is it a heavy hand? Crossbow? What type is this? So it's a hand, a hand crossbow, yeah. Oh, it's an eight. Oh. It's an eight? Yep. I just rolled a six. I got six on this D6. I'll go with that. Okay. Dope. Alright, I've numbered them so I don't lose my mind. Alrighty, so you shoot at which one? Three? 
Yes. Alrighty. You shoot at three, an arrow lodges into its torso. Alright, anything That's what else? I got. Cool. Anyone can go next at this point. Uh I'm gonna take my whole action to move uh right here sure and i can't do anything because you know yep. I took my whole thing it's all good you rush and dash towards the horde yep uh and all right uh yeah cool who else wants to go next uh lavina is gonna take a step out of delvin's way <laughs> she is not okay. one to get in his line of fire. And, and then I'm going to burn a spell slot and I'm going to cast Empowerment on Dalvin, Sam, and um, Luminous, I think. Loomis is his yep. name. Right. Which means you guys, Luminous. as long as I can hold concentration and nobody fucks my shit up, you guys mm -hmm. get to add a d4 to all of your d20 rolls. Alright. Awesome. And this is a level 2 spell, right? Yes. Alright, so you reduce your spell point pool by two. Um, I figured that was the case. That's yep, hard. level two spells cost two points. Um, yep, yep. So I, I'll find, try to find the blessed token to make up. Oh, here's the blessed token. So you say Dalvin and who else? Sam and Tangi. I think that's what the Tangi is. One, and two, Tang. three, four, five. Yeah, Tangi's within the eight spaces. Cool. So all of you added D4. No, I'm sorry. Loomis, not Tangi. I apologize. Oh. The bigger dude. Boy. All right. They are all, uh, well, not blessed, but they are empowered by your spell as you are concentrating it. Um, yeah. So that's your action. And you've already moved. Uh, Kingsley will use his word of advice, and he'll say to you, Sam, 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 just just cut him down like you did to those bandits yesterday, and then you can add a d6 to a d20 roll of your choice. So, okay. All right. So he'll spend his turn doing that. Uh, Fifi, would you like to do anything? Fifi? Uh oh. Oh, he's sending me messages like crazy. Oh, what? Let's see what has happened. Uh, oh, he has to leave. It's all good. Alrighty. So he shall take position and shoot his cross hand crossbow. So I'm just going to roll for him. He'll shoot the one that Dablin is attacking. I rolled a four plus his agility mod, which isn't enough, unfortunately. He shoots at three, and it just goes completely wide over his head. Its head, excuse me. And he is going to stay in his position. Now the zombies get to go. Um, half of them are going to go up to the guard. It is at this point that the guard will use their held action to make an attack against the zombie, which they rolled extremely high, dealing some damage to them. These six are going to attack Tanji. Well, they're going to walk, two of them are going to walk towards Sam, one of them is going to attack here, and this one's going to be here, and then this one I don't know what to do with, so he'll be here. And yeah, he'll be there. It's not a smart creature. So two attacks against Sam. I'm just gonna roll two d20s. Um, I rolled a two and a three, so they both miss. Um, then the four, Yay. then the four attacks against Singer Tanji here. Ugh, I gotta reroll one of them because it's cocked. Um, uh, I rolled a nine, a thirteen, a eight and a 19. Uh, 13 and 19 hit. All right, you shall take, as I pull up on my monster list here that I'm slowly building up over time, you shall take 10 points of piercing damage from two of those attacks. Okay, I'm gonna reduce one of them. I'm gonna reduce, wait. Each one's 10? No, 10 total. Okay, I'm going to reduce it by 9 with one slot. 
All right, and then I need you. Yeah, he's wearing a lot of heavy. He's wearing heavy armor and other stuff. Um, heavy armor and a shield. Yep. Go ahead and make two fortitude checks for me. Two fortitude checks. All right. Okay. That's uh seven, eight, nine, ten for one, and then a natural one for the other. So a four and a seven. Oof, that's two failures. Um, you're poison. Uh oh. As they bite for their bite attack, two of them are able to lunge in deep beneath your armor as the poisonous mouth of the zombies corrodes you a bit. You're poisoned. You're gonna take eight points of poison damage. I cannot reduce that since it's not attacking my armor, right? Nope, you cannot reduce that. And you are also eight damage? Yep. And you're poisoned, if I could find the damn poison condition. I need to organize these to where it's better, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, here it is. I don't know why poison's like purple, but there it is. All right, you're poisoned. So as long as you are poisoned, you, let me read the condition here. You're poisoned. So you will start taking a D6 of poison damage at the start of your turn. You have disadvantage with all D20 rolls, and this condition is last until you are cured from the disease. Uh, so that is how poison works. And then that's going to be for the for the zombies. The NPCs get to go. The guards will make another round of attacks against the zombies. They make another successful round of attacks against the zombies, keeping their distance, basically uh, kiting them. Um, the guards will then say to you, we'll try to take these out as quickly as we can, then we'll help you guys out. Um, at this point, you guys get to go now. What would you guys like to do? Uh, seeing my friend being beaten to death mercilessly, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna step over here and I'm gonna spin attack because right. I love being spin attack. Yep. Yep. So roll a d20, a d6, and a d4, along with your modifier. <laughs> d20. Big roll. D6, d4. This is why I like this system too. You get to roll multiple dice. It's more fun. Yeah. So that is 19 plus 4, 23. 23 hits everyone. Go ahead and roll for damage. Okay, that is 1d10. Oh, wow. 12. 12. You deal significant damage to these creatures all around you. Guts are spilling out. They look like they're on death's door. Oh man, if only I could spin again. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be it for me. All right. I'll be right back, by the way. That's all good. Who's, who's next? It's not fun. You're, you're poisoned, my man. <laughs> um, seeing you guys get swarmed, Luna's gonna teleport over here. All right. And, she, and as she teleports, you just hear like that weird like Doppler effect of "I'm coming, Danji." <laughs> okay. Awesome. She's gonna as soon as as soon as she can, um, because he's not. I don't think he's close enough. Uh, She's going to cast Cleanse on him as soon as she gets close enough, so that she's going to hold that. Okay, so if you decide to hold your action, you'll drop Concentration on Empowerment. Ah, fuck. I'm going to hold Empowerment for as long as I can. Okay, so you use your action to maintain Concentration. Alrighty. Yep. Uh, Fifi is going to try to launch, trying to finish off one of the ones that looks kind of hurt from Sam's spin attack. See how well he does here. Okay, let me just check his stats to clarify here. Um, let's see here. 
Oh, he has a plus one to hit. Um, it does hit, so he does a D8 plus one. All right, he deals four damage to the one that looks the most hurt. Um, it will use its reaction to use Undead Fortitude to try to stay up. I rolled a natural one for it. It does not stay up. Um, we'll say he'll heal this one. All right, so um, Fifi takes aim and shoots at the one in between Luminous and Sam. And he goes, let's go! And at this point, uh, he's going to go, well, he's going to maintain. Um, Kingsley were, uses word of advice to Sam. He says, next work, Sam, just do that again, and then it'll work. He'll give you a d6. So that way you can roll the d6 to roll again. And uh, Dalvin, what are you doing on your turn? Um, I can't reach them for a melee attack this turn, so I'm going to shoot one more time. Okay, which one would you like to shoot? To add your d4. Thank yep, you. add a d4. I'm going to need that. Okay, 12 plus 2 is 14. Um, I was yep. that hits. aiming for this one right here. Yep. And D8 this time. Four points. All right. It takes four points of damage as another air is lodged into one of its lungs. It seems like it pierced its lung and blood is slowly leaking out. All right, and move up three spaces. That's my turn. Cool. All right. The zombies get to go now. Um, this zombie will go towards you and attack you. Since you attacked it uh, with its bite attack. Um, I rolled a... Oh, crap. Wait. Don't. Can I attack twice since I have the... Or you just melee? Yep. You can attack twice. I'm sorry. Would you like Level to attack? Two's... Yeah. Yeah. So fighting classes and specialist classes get to attack twice. So uh, let me roll Does for uh, Fifi also. That's a fifteen to hit, so that hits. I'm yep. assuming damage. Seven. Seven. Use this reaction for a fortitude. I did not roll high enough. You kill it. And yes. Fifi, Fifi will try to shoot the one that is kind of staggering a bit. We roll for damage, which is a D8 plus 1, which is 8, so I have to roll 8 or higher as a reaction. It stays up. All right, so number, <laughs> new roll number 3 is still up somehow. Um, but uh, that being said, these two are going to attack Sam. Um, I rolled a... I'm going through tab by tab by tab. Uh, I rolled a 11 to hit, Sam. Does that hit you? Uh, no. No. No? Okay. Um, Tangy, you. I forgot. I skipped your turn. My apologies. Oh. Um, yeah. You take uh, two points of piercing damage at the start of your turn. Piercing, piercing or poison? Poison, I meant. I'm sorry. Okay. Two points. I'm at seven hit points. I'm going to cast a uh, healing touch on myself if that's possible. Sure. That's going to be eight points of healing. I'll do that after this. All right. uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Luminous is going to pick me up and place me right over here. Okay. All right. And he, he just, just picks you up. Mm. <laughs> like a game board piece. Yeah, and he's gonna try and step more in between me and the zombies. Yep, he will do so. I don't know why this ain't sticking on, but... It might be stuck on me That's or weird. something. That's weird. Alright, that happens. Um, nonetheless, um, one and four will attack Luminous. Okay. I rolled a 12 to hit Luminous. Uh, 12 does hit. Alright, Luminous will take 10 points of piercing damage from the bite attacks. And okay. he must make two con saves, con saves, fortitude saves. <laughs> he does not have stack. Um, so go ahead and roll a d20 and just use your fortitude modifier. Okay. Plus, let me uh, see. Does he get a d4 19. with those rolls? Because it's... Yes, he does. Yeah. And... Shit, fuck. So he got a 22 and a 21. Alright, he succeeds. He is not poisoned. Okay. 
Um, the NPCs will try to finish off this squadron of zombies as they feel somewhat confident in themselves now. They hit. Um, so I have to roll damage dice exactly. Alright. Alright. These squad of dwarven guards feel the confidence and stab their enemies to death. And they're like, run away! Just hold on for just a little longer! As they clean off these zombies, and then they'll spend their movement trying to get to you guys as quickly as possible. Alrighty. And then at this point, it is your guys' go. Uh... Go ahead. Okay. Dalvin would like to move up to this zombie with this spaces. Okay. Since where am I? Come on. My character's not moving. It's One not second. moving. All right, you can get closer. I got you. Boom. There we go. Boom. I'm gonna drop my hand crossbow and I'm going for two punches with my battle gauntlets. Alrighty. Thirteen plus three is a sixteen. That hits. Eight points of damage. All right. So I gotta roll an eight or higher to stay up. I rolled a six. You double axe handle this zombie and pound him to the ground, killing him. All righty. Mm. Who else would like to go up next? Can I pick up my crossbow and shoot for a second attack? No. All right. That's cool. All right. Who else would like to go? Would you like to heal me? Um, yes. Uh, see, hearing the guards say that they're on their way, Levina, like, lets out a small breath, dropping the empowerment, and then as soon as she drops it, she's going to put her hands on Tanji's shoulders and cast cleanse on him. Alright. You are cleansed, curing you from the poison condition. Thank you. You'll be uh, okay. <laughs> yay. Okay. Uh, I'll do my turn in one sec. Alright. Okay. I need to do calculations. I forgot to heal. That's fine. Fifi shall shoot at in the meantime. Uh, he'll hit with a 14. Um, this zombie number five gets hit in the neck. However, it is somehow still standing up with using its reaction for the undead fortitude okay. ability. Um, so Sam, would you like to go up next, or? Sure. All right. Uh, I'm gonna move right here. Uh huh. And I'm gonna speed. You got spin? Alright, make your attack. Do I still have the D6 and the D4? Yep, it's still a D6, D4. Okay. Uh, so that is a 14. 14 hits all three of them. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, that's six damage. Six damage, right? Six damage, right? I have to roll higher than a six for one. You kill five because he already used his reaction for a dead fortitude. I have to roll for one, and fourth was rarely hit. Um, I roll an eleven. So with your spin slash, you cut five down in half. However, zombie one still somehow still clinging on to life as you slash, as you are recovering from your slash spin, and four is still looking. That he's still standing up, but his guts are just spilling out from him at this point. All right, Tanji, you ready to go? Yes. All uh, right. Can Luminous pick me up? Yep. Uh, question: mm -hmm. Does does it take an action to put away my sword? <sighs> no. Okay. So I he picks me up. I put away my sword, and I'm gonna put my hands out, and I'm gonna do flame power. Alrighty. You do flank her. They have to make they it. Need, uh, let's see the save. It is a save of 16. They will both fail it. 
Well, they take eight damage. All right, you kill Zombie Five because it used its reaction for Undead Fortitude and burn it away. Zombie Four is still somehow staying up afterwards. Okay, that's gonna be my turn. All right. Um. Okay. Zombie gets to go. It will attack. It will attack Luminous because it can't reach to the halfling. At least not yet. All right. It doesn't have loon growth, unfortunately. Um, so I'll attack Luminous with bite. I roll a oh, 21 to hit. That definitely hits. By piercing a biting damage to Luminous, and Luminous must make a fortitude check. Okay. Uh, rolling high, I got a 20. All right. He resists the necrotic effects from the bite. And it is at this point the Dwarven guards are going to bum rush to the situation as quickly as he can, they can. Um, and then this one over here is going to grab a javelin from his pack and going to try to yeet it to four, trying to end its life. That's caught. Alright, that is a 18 to hit. So let me just roll damage for the javelin. Roll for the undead fortitude. All right. This dwarven guard grabs a javelin from his pack, tosses it, and pins down the zombie from the force of the javelin as it is it is basically just is still up just because the javelin stuck to the ground as the corpse is just laying there dead off the javelin, thus ending this encounter. At this point, the dwarven guards catch their breath and say, uh, are you guys all right? Are you okay? Was anyone yes, hurt? Yes, are you guys all right? No, we're all right. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's good to see another I... dwarf in these parts. Oh. Put her there, brother. All right. He <laughs> will um, do the man handshake from the original Predator movie with you. <laughs> All right, um, so he says, what the hell are you lots doing around here, and what the fuck is that? And he points towards Luminous. What the fuck is that thing? It's my... It's hard to explain. Hmm. Well, whatever that thing is, it definitely saved our asses. I thought we were going to join this horde's undead numbers. Thank God. Thank God this doesn't get across towards Fortuno. Should I be concerned I got bit by a zombie? He looks at you, he goes, uh, Well, you did get bit, but I think your elven friend helped you out with that. You'll be Very fine, well. Kim. Are you guys priests and healers? I am yeah. a holy warrior. Oh no, I'm a fighter, man. I see I that. I the reverse of healing. Hmm. I'm a healer, but I wouldn't call myself a priest. <laughs> uh, he says, well, regardless of who we are, if you guys want, we can allow you entry into Verturum, but we have some people who are sick over but in Verturum. Some of them are dying so from some weird sickness. We're not too Whoa, sure what. I'm a what. citizen. Whoa. Mm -mm. I'm a citizen. Automatic entry. You know this. He looks at you. He, they look at you and says, Oh, we weren't talking about you, my friend. Oh, you are always oh, welcome. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> we're talking about your friends, but your friends have saved our asses, and the least we can do is let you into, well, what remains of the city walls. What remains? Yes. Unfortunately, what has the, he, they say, Well, let's talk it on the way back, and this is where we're going to conclude the session. Okay. Alright, so you guys leveled up, encountered some foes, and uh, we'll see what happens next. So, till then, guys, I'll see you next week. See ya. Later. See ya.